Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. Time to hashtag everything with Mariano and Pauline. Hashtag Pauliano. We talk about all the fun, crazy stories on social media. From Instagram to Facebook, Twitter to Tumblr, or probably even Friendster. Join us each week as we explore the quirky side of social media. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Social Media Podcast. It's simple. It's simple, such a sad song. The one that, the one that we rely on. To get us, to get us. Hello, everyone. Thanks for listening to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. I'm Mariano. And I'm Pauline. And um, we've got a few interesting stories for you today. Yep. First being what? We are going to get blessed, of course, with we are? new emojis. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> from apple and so apple always likes to like update their emojis and when they do they make like subtle changes to existing emojis and then sometimes they'll add in new ones they'll delete other ones for whatever reason i didn't think they could change like existing emojis i don't know why yeah so okay so some of the changes that they've made to some of the existing emojis is like the smileys they're more um, like they look flatter, I guess, instead of so round. So they're not as like 3D looking. Oh, okay. And then um, like two and a half D. Yeah. And then uh, like there's like a robot face one and his like robot face is more shiny. So he looks more metallic and things like that. So those are some of the changes they made to existing ones. I wonder why. Did, did, did they like do we know why they made them two and a half D instead of just like. Does just it, like no like i just understand updated i guess because i understand the more the more like um the diverse people and like the like the lgbt couples and like the single parents that all i get the water gun i think is a little much but like why would you change from 3d faces to 2d faces no because you know how like brands just always update things uh-huh. even if it's the exact same thing they just add a curve or they just darken the blue i just, guess just because keep, keep it yeah okay and so those are some of the changes they made to existing emojis and then like mariano said they did change the gun yeah. in of the emojis to a squirt gun um which honestly doesn't really matter i get it there's a lot just in society with gun violence so yeah. that's perhaps why i don't know uh, to me it's a little overkill because it's there is a lot going on right now and it's, it's hard to really knock it and I'm, I guess I'm not knocking it. It's just I feel the way about like changing the squirt gun the way I feel about like Pokemon Go where I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. And she was like, yeah, the game is so crazy. Like people do this and this. I'm like, no, no, no. The mm-hmm. game is a game. People are stupid and they, they take these things too far. You know, mm-hmm. Pokemon's good fun. And I liked it, too, when I was little. And I'm not one of those like I won't try to be one of those like, oh, well, like, I'm too old for that crap or whatever. Like, no, it's it's a it's fun. And, and mm-hmm. just the extremes people go to is what really puts me off yeah. you know so it's like changing I, I just feel like changing it to a water gun is not gonna like is not gonna change anything in real life like i don't think there will ever be like a person in the news like oh well if only emojis were water gun emojis then this person wouldn't have been shot you know what i mean mm-hmm. but i mean i guess well that's just one of the updates yeah and then one of the cool things that they have which I thought was actually pretty cool, uh-huh. was that they have like, um, so they have more variety when it comes to just like the athletic emojis. Oh, I so saw like those. There's girl ones, yeah. but then there's also what I thought was Those like, are cool. There's like a rock climbing and swimming. And, yeah, you know. those ones are cool. And then, because um, I use that little like running guy uh-huh. all the time, like I'm, when I'm texting, I'm like, I'm out of here. So now I can use like the girl. <laughs> and then she used the um, bike and make it funny. She <laughs> the James Bond status. And then so, um, but that they have like single family, um, like oh, emojis. Yeah, yeah. So like, like one parent, like one parent and single parent home. So like that's kind of cool because then you can have like just your mom. I'm about that emoji you. life. Yeah. yeah. So and then they have, um, so it's just more inclusive. A lot of their other emojis that they have now which i thought is kind of like cool and fun and things like that they have like the guy with the turban there's like a girl version now with the turban which is cool and then um they have the dancing emojis like with the bunny ears it usually is two girls but they also have two boys now 
So it's like kind of fun. They added, Good, because I was offended. They added a lot of other <laughs> things in there just to make it more fun and just to add some more variety. They added and, over 100. Yeah, there's yeah. whenever they add emojis, they always add like a whole lot of them. There, but then there's like other, I think I've mentioned this before in an mm-hmm. earlier show, but then there's like an emoji where it's just like fog, like it's a square box of fog. Uh-huh. I don't get what anybody would need that for. So I don't know if they took that one away or they not. They live in like the Bay Area. I guess, but. How's the weather up just there? Just fog, <laughs> like the just fire. a square fog. Like, yeah. I don't get it. So there are some that I think are like kind of useless. But then I'm like, whatever, I guess somebody is using this. I don't know. I use like the same well, one. I don't know, few. actually, because I don't think like, I, I don't know how they do it. Does somebody like take requests and then make them or. Yeah. I'm I'd wondering. love to be that person that makes emojis mm-hmm. for my job. Yeah. You know, like how cool would it be to sit there and draw like a two and a half D little smiley face? Like emojis. Yeah. I'm sure they have to go through a lot of like. I'm sure that they approvals do. Approvals and stuff. Because don't, don't you get like the, the feeling when you look at emojis like they're they're simple but like how do they're simple in all the perfect ways like they have the perfect amount of detail Mm -hmm. like these things probably took a lot of time yeah like this simple looking smiley face probably was done and redone like Mm -hmm. a thousand times well yeah and it's still getting redone because even with the update there's a new version of it even though it's the same smiley face essentially that's like always getting my ocd would murder me like i'd forget to eat (laughs) for like 14 days and i would just yeah, so that's the cool thing. Um, so Apple's doing that. They're always trying to update, and everybody's always trying to follow along with that. But, I mean, I think it's kind of fun soon. We'll just – I mean, I use emojis all the time, so I like it when me too. new ones. The only thing that bothers me, though, is I wish there was some kind of way – and I don't know how this would work mm-hmm. – but either, like, a better sorting option or something. Because with 100 new emojis on top of all the, like, already emojis – it's getting to be a little much. So I really don't even bother. Like my phone. Well, I can... some of them get deleted. That's what I'm saying. Oh. So that's why I'm wondering if that fog one is still oh. <laughs> there or not. Or maybe it'll be better. Who like the heck uses fog? It's just fog. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So I know because not all of them like how would you stay. portray? How would you portray like normal clear weather? <laughs> like just nothing? Just There's us. just a sun. Just, just use the sun. Oh. How Like this bright. Well, what if it's not like sunny? They have a it's moon. Just... They have a dark moon. They have a cloud with the sun. They have like partial cloudy. Like that's what I'm getting. Like why do we need fog? Like I don't get it. I don't know. I guess if there's a a fog is only three letters. I mean, it doesn't like it's it's literally a square box of fog. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you guys have passed it because you didn't really think that it was actually an emoji. You probably thought it was like a glitch. I I think (laughs) all the square ones are ugly. Like like oh like the camping one. Yeah. Like why wouldn't you just make a tent? And not why would you put a yeah like it's know? like a legit like camping like picture of a camping you see what I'm saying like that those all the square ones look like like there's a square one with like a building in it oh and I'm mm-hmm. like why wouldn't you just make a building without yeah, the square that yeah. looks so much cooler and then the building can be a little bigger to fit the square right so I mean Apple we want to know what's up with those like scenes and I don't They're, like ha- full scenes yeah. I don't, I don't have an iPhone, but I have a friend of mine who has like the developer account mm-hmm. and I saw iOS 10. Mm-hmm. Have you seen iOS 10? Mm-mm. It's actually pretty cool. Like emojis aside, he was telling me, uh, because I don't know, um, he was like, yeah, iOS 10, they added a ton of new features to it. Um, he ended up actually switching back to iOS 9, mm-hmm. but because it's the developer one and it wasn't like done yet. So there right. were a lot of bugs. Um but he was saying like it, it's really cool and they added some new features so i'm sure people are excited like i i know whenever the new ios updates come out people are always like they're excited slash annoyed because it takes up all like your data or i mean not your data all your storage space yeah and it just always my phone's always like ready to update ready to update and i'm like later later remind me later uh, and i just never do it i don't know i have an android i, I don't you know, yeah I don't so know. so anyways speaking of updates instagram also did a new update this week with their, like, <laughs> uh, I was going to say program, but <laughs> with them. Your face right they, now. Because <laughs> I couldn't think with of a their, word. Uh... With their, meh. So with their <laughs> update, and basically they added Insta story, Gram story. I don't know what they're calling it. It's not a Snapchat story, but it's very, very was... similar to a Snapchat story. And basically it's once you updated your Instagram um so like you have your regular timeline but above your timeline are these like little circle bubble things Uh and it's like of your friends faces who have a snapchat or no excuse me instagram Instagram story 
So you can add it to the top and then instead of going through and just seeing their pictures um, like on your timeline, you can click the little circle bubbles at the top and it'll be like your friend's story that they just put on there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's the same concept. Last 24 hours, then it's gone. It's oh. like a 10 second video. It's literally the exact same thing. It's like almost as if Snapchat and Instagram like combined. Yeah. But it's, it's all on Instagram. So a lot of people... We're like feeling two types of ways that I was like seeing some responses. Some people were like, well, this is stupid. Like we already have Snapchat. Why is Instagram doing this? And like, oh, this is lame. I'm never going to use it. And then a lot of other people were like, yay, Instagram, you take over everything <laughs> and you could have it all in one spot. Oh, you know? Yeah, that's and a good so idea. People were saying like that they like how Instagram always just takes the best ideas from everybody else and puts it on You know, Instagram, Instagram. is kind of becoming my favorite. YouTube, yeah, because you I mean, can do sorry. everything on it. I just said YouTube. Facebook used to be my, my uh -huh. like go-to. Instagram, Instagram. Is, is quickly turning. And, and I think like the next thing that they have to just do really is just make it so that you can call people and then boom. I know. And then take over the world. And then it's going to be literally you don't need it for anything. Else. And like, then you start don't making else. Terminator robots. So, so I mean, but the funny thing is, is I updated my Instagram and I went to a concert that evening and I was like, oh, I should use Instagram story while I'm at this like show and everything. But the funny thing is, I was still just using Snapchat the whole time while I was like at the place. <laughs> and then I realized, I was like, oh, shoot, I wanted to put this on Instagram. And then I was like, eh, forget it. That's eh. one thing that sucks about Snapchat is it goes away. Like, No, Instagram story will go away too. But it I only mean, last 24 hours. But like when you do regular stuff on Instagram, it stays there. Oh, okay. You I know? see. Yeah. So you could do both now on Instagram. So if you're into it. But then I also did notice a lot of my friends on their stories were like, had like a picture but then like you know how you can put like a caption uh -huh. with it during the story they would put like their snapchat name you know so it was like advertising themselves on snapchat oh yeah yeah so i get annoyed I mean, at that or when people post the picture of the like the little ghost like barcode thing that, oh yeah because you know? that just makes it easier so you can follow them right mm -hmm. and i'm like nah. Uh, but <laughs> so that's kind of like another update that instagram has done honestly i don't really mind it i don't care because I probably still will definitely use Snapchat for Snapchat stories. And I haven't, I don't think I've posted, yeah, I haven't posted anything on Instagram as far as an Instagram story, but I've been watching a lot of people's Instagram stories and they make it easy. So like you just can roll through them. See, that's so what I like. Multiple people's at once. I like it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I can like just stock up on people's lives easily with a click. <laughs> just... well, when you say it that way, it sounds kind of sad. <laughs> But no, like I, I really don't use Snapchat too much, mm -hmm. so I kind of don't care. So I, I guess, I mean, I saw that that story, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, that's that's cool. You know, right. I'm not like against it. I'm, I'm probably more for it because I mean, now I guess I can have it all in one place. Yeah, it's nice to have it all in one. Because place. Snapchat goes too far with all the filters and all the stuff, and like, oh, it's fun though. I, I mean, I guess, but I just, I just don't yeah, care. Yeah, Snapchat like, has been like stepping up their game with different filters that right. they've had. I mean, let me be clear. Like, it's not like I mind it. Mm -hmm. I just don't care for it. So yeah. like, you know, I, I don't, I don't. And okay. One thing that does annoy me though, is when other people, like if I'm going through people's stories, if you're like at the beach and I see pictures of you and the kids in the water and whatever, like that's fun. Right. If I go through your story and it's like you, the kids, the beach, the water, and then six pictures of, of your face all with different filters, <laughs> that gets annoying. Or no, not even worse than that is the videos. Like, <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than like, okay, that's a good picture. That's a good picture. And then six seconds of just somebody staring at their phone. And then the phone like catches on and then you see the filter like jump in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they open their mouth and it's like, Whoa, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Then I, I tap my phone. Honestly, on Snapchat, I don't watch that many people's stories. Like unless you send it directly to me, uh -huh. I don't watch your story. Like I just post my own stories and then... I get those little chats from people. They're like, oh, cute pick P. And I'm like, oh, thanks for caring. <laughs> and I just, you know, so I don't know. I don't necessarily go on. Thanks and a lot of my caring. friends and like my close friends know that about me. So like if they post it on their story, they'll still send it to me if they really want me to see it because I don't go through people's stories uh -huh. because it's just like, I don't know. But then on Instagram, I do. I don't know. It's weird. I, don't, I will every now and then. It's weird. I do it on Instagram. It's because Instagram is, is better. I think because I know the people can't do filters. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe just because it's new. Maybe I'm gonna be over it by the end of the weekend. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because it's fresh and new and something exciting. So we'll see how long it lasts. I'm sure it'll be there for forever. Probably for forever. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram is slowly but surely taking over. 
slowly. Is it even plotting on everybody? Yeah, I know. The next thing I'm telling you is going to be you can make phone calls. Or no, or you can watch YouTube videos. Oh. That'll probably be the next thing. Mm, YouTube has too many rules and regulations. They don't like all that. Well, They'll I mean, shut it down. They'll shut Instagram completely down if they start that. Well, unless they like partners, what I'm saying. Mm, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. Perhaps. But uh, we do have to take a quick commercial break, and we will be right back. Right back. Check out the show that's built on the MMA. From the UFC to extreme cage fighting, they got the fights covered. Check out the GSMC MMA podcast. Get the latest news on past or upcoming fights. Join us as we talk to and about some of the biggest names in the MMA, past, present, and future. When it's the fight game, there's just one show to check out. GSMCpodcast.com backslash MMA dash podcast. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Visit G smcpodcast.com for more info. And we're back. Thanks for listening, everyone, to the GSMC Social Media News Podcast. I'm Mariano. And you guys know I'm Pauline. And uh, we were just talking about, uh, was it Tinder and, and Puff, Plenty of Fish? Yes. I have not made either one yet. Uh-huh. There's another one, Bumble. You see, Bumble? You, like you say that you don't you don't mess with these, but how do you know all these? I didn't. Okay, I, I didn't know there you, was a Bumble. I think there's. I think it's called Bumble or Bubbly, boot something. Uh, Blooming. Bumble I don't know. sounds like an appropriate name for like a. I think it's called. I don't know. There is another one, but I think it's like. I think it's called Bumble. Or something, but one of the girls that I work with, uh-huh. she just made one, a profile on this, and she was like, Pauline, you should make one with me, because she recently just broke up with her boyfriend, and my boyfriend and I recently broke up, and I was like, no, Chelsea, I'm not making an online dating profile, and she was like, I'll do it for you, and I was like, Chelsea, do not, I was like, that's not right, like, I was like, do not. Tell her don't bother, I already made one for and you. And then I was like, no, you did not, did you? Okay, no. I was going to say, it's, it, if you guys see me, <laughs> once again, I will put this out there. If you guys see me on a dating app, it's Catfish. It's not me. It's, it's not me. Straight on green. So it's, <laughs> it's just not me. And so, rightfully so. So I'm going to tell you guys what happened to a girl, a lady, a woman um, named Diane. A girl, a lady. From uh-huh. L.A. She's from... Um, yeah, she's from the LA area in California, and she recently met up with a gentleman that she met or connected with, I don't know what they call it, uh-huh. on Plenty of Fish. Mm-hmm. And so they go out to um, Morton's Steakhouse, which is great, and they go there, and um, this was like in the news and everything. So she was saying that he was just ordering things and like every like appetizers and everything's a la carte there so like you order things and it's all like pretty expensive and so because it's a a really nice steakhouse and um she was kind of like going with it because she's like oh okay like have you seen that one video where it's like he's got money like (laughs) when he puts the guacamole on the chipotle (laughs) Have you seen that? So she's probably, I was thinking, she's probably thinking like that girl, like, oh, like, okay, like, Uh nice. He suggests we go here. He's ordering, like, it's nothing, all of that. And so she's like doing her thing. They're eating, they're having dinner. And then towards like the end of the dinner, he tells her, oh, I have to like, Right to the restroom or something? Right, or make a phone call, something like that. Like oh. he excused himself for a minute and was like, I'll be right back. And so she's like, okay. And so the bill comes and she's like waiting and all that. And I think it was like, she said like 10, 15 minutes later, she realizes, okay, like he's not coming back. And I guess she tried to like contact him and things like that. And like he had blocked her number. And then like on the dating profile thing, like he had like, blocked her and like changed his name and all of this like so he just like cut her off and i guess the bill was over i think it was like 163 dollars man um for this date i wonder so, why like it, it was it was a date like, he didn't really get anything out of it other than the meal well come to find out because they like she kind of like reports this and everything because of what happened to her mm-hmm. and come to find out he like is known in LA by with other women that are on dating 
pro uh, dating like platforms mm-hmm. in the Southern California, like LA area. This is what he does. His name is like um, Paul Gonzalez. And like the police are actually looking for him because he has like he has a warrant out because um, one, this is like what he does. And so like it's considered like petty theft. And oh, okay. um, yeah, and he's known for um, cause, like I was like looking up this story and I was looking him up and stuff. And like there's women that have posted like on Reddit and things like pictures of him to say like, oh, if you meet this guy, like don't go on a date with him. Like, Is he, he good looking? Because it's hard to get a, like an online date. Um, like, I mean, he's not bad looking, you know, he's not ugly. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So like this man, that's what kind of like his thing. Like, that's what he does. He takes them to a really nice restaurant. He'll order everything. So just for the food? And or then like, just leave. Just for the embarrassment factor I, for I, them? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm sure Morton's is good, but is it like ditch a date and block everything good? Well, honestly, well, I mean, Morton's, I, I think it's great. But I mean, would you do that for Morton's? I would never just do that in general. Okay. But, like, I think he just does that. Like, I think he must get a thrill or yeah, something out of like, it. Like, the embarrassment yeah, factor the, out of it? Yeah, the embarrassment wonder... factor. Or just, because, I mean, I don't know. So, that's kind of, like, his thing. So, another reason why I do not need an online dating Okay, profile. but that could happen no matter where you meet someone, to be True. Fair. And, honestly, on first dates, I technically, I, I normally pay for myself. Yeah. I, I was going to say. Um, I drive myself. I pay for myself. Like, when you told me this, I, two things kind of came to my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, and this is not. Like, let's be clear. This isn't how I feel. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Right. Is it petty theft? I mean, if you both go to dinner, wouldn't the girl just kind of be on the hook? Like, you went to dinner, which means there's at least yeah. But there's at he, least like a he's probability. He's done it like that... at hair salons. He's done it at like multiple places. So like, oh, and like the police have been looking for him. Like, this is what he does. Oh, like, before that? it wasn't just like a one time. Like, oh, and I get he's that. Like old. I think he's like in his thirties. Oh wow. So I mean, it's not no, like again, teenagers. I get it. I'm not like, for it. Like he right. A freaking adult should pay for his meal. Right. But. I'm just saying like No, she it, probably did have to pay for it. Yeah. She probably did. But then because it's kind of like a serial thing of mm-hmm. his and like he does it at different establishments, not just restaurants. It's just stupid. So like I, I get annoyed at at things that just don't need to happen, you know? Right. Like I mean, yeah, and so my advice, ladies and guys, drive yourself. So that way if you need to run away, you can. Like you can just leave. Or, um, and what if also, like, chase them like in a th- I like pay for myself usually in the first few dates because yeah. I don't like that. Unless, like, like I automatically assume I'm gonna pay for myself. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's I mean? just a safe bet, right? Like, even if you end up not paying, yeah, wouldn't you like take I some money? Just, like, yeah, I always just in case because I'm not, I don't have time for those games. And then I always drive myself, or before, like, when I was in college, before I had a car. I would invite my friends to the place that I was going and they would eat at the restaurant there mm. and like not act like they knew me. Right. But just there, like a girlfriend of mine and just like in case. two friends, just in case, like if I really needed to leave and get out of there. Like a Mission Impossible type. Like, like, <laughs> like an extraction. I get saved. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. It's just a way that I just felt more safe. Like usually, and I mean, I wasn't dating like a bunch of random guys, but I'm just saying just in case because mm. you never know. Or if you're just uncomfortable and you're ready to go. Or whatever, you can just put your money down and just excuse yourself and go and just be like, okay, never call me again. <laughs> and so I don't know. So that happened to her. I feel really bad for Diane because that yeah. probably is embarrassing, but That's good for her for like reporting it and like, yeah, you know, yep. I'm proud of that. Because too. hopefully he will, I don't know, stop doing this. I'm going to play devil's advocate one more time. Like, this is, this is just another thought that uh-huh. came into my head, which is not like, again, I, it's a, you know how like thoughts come and go, right? So I don't agree with this. Mm-hmm. It just I just thought of it. I wonder if this guy, what's his name? I think his name is Paul. Paul Gonzalez. He mm-hmm. said. I wonder if he's doing this. Like I wonder if the thrill is like, oh, this this gold digger probably thinks I have a lot of money, so I'm gonna put her in her place. Oh, like, yeah. Like have you ever seen those mm-hmm. videos of um the guys like, hey, you want to come take a ride with me in this really nice car Mm -hmm. and she's like okay and then he goes right behind it to like the other car yeah and they're like actually never mind right 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 right. like that um the only times i really get annoyed at the girl is when like i saw some and i feel like these are probably fake but she's with her boyfriend Mm -hmm. and she's like oh yeah i'm just gonna take a quick ride and he's like no you're not and she's like no no, i'll be right back and she leaves him like right there on the street oh i don't know i I don't know i i feel like that's kind of fake and if it's not then i hope her stuff is on fire when she gets back to her no longer apartment but i mean I mean, isn't that disrespectful? I don't know if a girl would really actually ditch her boyfriend like that. That's though. what I'm saying, though. Is I feel like that's fake. But mm-hmm. if, you know, 
Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering if, if in his head, because you know how people take a lot of things like to heart, you know? Yeah. Or like way too far. Yeah. So I wonder if in his head, he's like, oh, these gold diggers, like I'm going to take her to this mm-hmm. nice restaurant. She's going to assume that I'm going to pay. And then like, I'm going to show her. Right. You know? So perhaps a, that could be it. Jerk. So speaking of Not online even, like how immature dating, like what yeah it's just kind of like yeah it is really immature i honestly would not get offended if a guy told me oh you're gonna pay for yourself i'd mm. be like okay like that's fine like i'd rather that than you just skip out but you know what i would get offended by though mm-hmm. if somebody told me like that like i hate that thing where people like they like create the argument in their head before even talking to you and like it was never gonna happen mm-hmm. anyway so if somebody was like, okay, but look, just so you know, you're going to pay for yourself. And I'm like, why are you talking at me right now? Like, oh, yeah. you know, like it, it was never, no one ever said I wasn't, you know? Right, 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 like, right. I'd be like, yeah, duh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's almost as if I'm going to eat my own food. So yeah. I should probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's been times when I've like reached for the ticket or like the bill myself. Yeah. Just because I, so that there's no confusion. I don't know. I just, then I feel like I don't owe you anything. So. That's fine. Yeah. And, and that's totally fair. That's why mm-hmm. I think this guy's, this I mean, I think six, you're too old to play that game. So right. to be like 30, is like, really, dude, just mm-hmm. get another hobby. Yeah, yeah, I really. Mean, if anything, too, consider yourself lucky all these girls are going on dates with you, like, you know? Yeah, I don't know. So, but um, speaking of online dating, so Zach Efron, he oh, yeah. made a Tinder and he was actually serious about his Tinder. Like, he actually made a Tinder to go on a date. And Zac Efron, he's an actor. He um, is known mostly, well, he kind of like... High School Musical. High School Musical. Charlie St. Cloud. And then um, what else has he done? He did Neighbors. Yep. Um, and he's currently doing something else right now. But um, anyway, so he made a Tinder profile and... Oh, he did Mike and Dave need, need wedding dates too. Right. And so um, he actually, in an interview, stated that, like, he really did make a profile and was really looking forward to it, <laughs> but <laughs> wasn't getting matched with anybody, I guess, because no, clearly nobody's going to think that it's really Zac Efron. Right. And so you're going to swipe. Wait, which way do you swipe? Left? You, if it's, yeah, you swipe left if you're not interested. Okay. So people are going to clearly swipe left because, like, okay, if I saw a celebrity profile, and like or like a profile and it was like somebody famous i'd be like okay this is definitely catfish yeah me too like i'm not no and so i would definitely not no yeah, he should have thought that one through so i don't know so if only they can get little like twitter checks on that yeah <laughs> <You know? laughs> like it verified yeah so i don't know so he didn't match with anybody so if you so were someone out there probably in southern california i assume he lives in southern california um ever swiped left on him you missed out i know does that suck? What if he skipped out on a bill? Like, and it, oh my god, imagine! <laughs> it, I wonder what you would do on, a, like, say for instance, not just Zach Efron, but like, yeah. just, uh, like you're on Tinder and you meet a celebrity and you guys go, like, I wonder what that first date would be like. I feel like would we just go to like eat or just go to the movies? Would we go just go on a picnic in a park? Because like I'm a picnic in a park kind of girl, so. Like if I'm like, yeah, let's go on a picnic in the park. I don't know, because let me let me be really like clear like, about how I phrase this right now. <laughs> like you, I don't know. Like, you're a smart girl, but, right? But a lot of other girls would probably just. I don't know if I could say this. Like, oh my gosh! Well, Tinder. A lot of people say is only for one thing. No, not even I because it's that. not even because it's Tinder, but because. Okay, I'll put it this way: if a girl had a chance to. Like a lockdown, Zach Efron. I could see a lot of them taking that chance. Yeah, but I feel like if he's gonna go on Tinder, then you really would have to have like just a regular normal date. Because if he uh, if he wanted just like girls just over him, he can just be like, "I've arrived." It wouldn't have I've to be like actually <laughs> he just shows up somewhere a profile on Tinder or something. <laughs> the way like, you, like, you know, I've arrived. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> Hey, well, wenches come to have in the game. Like, <laughs> I don't know. So I think, like, I think, like, if he's actually like mating Get a dating head. profile, like, I mean, Tinder isn't as serious as like something like I don't know, Match. dot com or something in harmony. But like, if he's doing that, then he because he even said like I was really down to go like on a date with someone, and it's like so you would have to like 
I don't know. Go on a normal date. What a normal like. I mean, I don't really date right now, so I don't know what a normal date. You go naked would paddle be. boarding in Italy. That's no, <laughs> we I think you have to build up to that. We so, have to take a quick commercial. I don't break. know. Pay to get apart. <laughs> Just pay to get apart. <laughs> Bring some. I like Pepsi, Cherry Coke. You know. <laughs> so we'll we're gonna cut to a break yeah, before we'll, this gets out of hand. We'll be right so, back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Too late. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. And we're back. We're back. I had to compose myself for a while. That was <laughs> that was hilarious. So, in other news uh-huh. outside of online dating, uh-huh. which honestly, online dating just makes me nervous. I think that's why I'm not down to try it. Because like, what if I get catfished? That's embarrassing. That yeah. After that, I feel like I feel like there's gonna be some girls out there that um, you know, like people like some cops shot some people and then some people shot some cops that had nothing to do with those other cops you mm-hmm. know i feel like some girl to get back at this guy is going to do that to other guys so like it's going to start yeah you i know. hate that kind of stuff yeah so yeah, I, I, I like but see again taking it's scary. it out on somebody else just exactly of something else that happened to you because it's it's scary too because it doesn't have to be online like what if you meet someone somewhere true and, yeah it know. can happen anywhere and i mean honestly i i don't know i've met okay that was weird i was gonna make a confession but <laughs> so i don't know catfish i mean not catfish online dating just freaks me out i mean if it works but there are people we talked about once in a different um episode where a girl actually ended up marrying somebody that she met off twitter mm-hmm. so it was zach Efron. so not zachary but i mean it could be it, it, it happens i'm sure people meet off eHarmony in match.com christian mingle christian mingle. you know yeah. whatever you're into that's just such a funny sounding name Christian Mingle. Yeah. And then there's one for like um, over 50 year olds. I think it's like our time when oh. you're like a little bit older. So, I mean, hey, clearly it works or else these sites wouldn't be like still going. We should, I guess. we should make dumb money by making a 40 year old one almost our time. Almost our time. <laughs> <laughs> these kids are growing up. <laughs> so, anyway. I mean, that's going to be us anyway. Jaden Smith and them are. Dude, I know. No, I'm just, I'm, you know, I've just. Yeah. Let's just buy cats and d- Let's just, die alone already. I'm just going to have an arranged marriage. That's just my... I'm I'm, I'm going over to that route. Which, hey, I mean, that's fine with me too. So, anyways. So, speaking of something new, we mm. can... Um, so, this past week was Barack Obama's, President Obama's um, birthday. He turned 55, I believe, mm-hmm. August 4th. And so, a lot of people were like, you know, oh, happy birthday, Obama. August 4th was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Okay. And so, um, they, like, people were posting, like, their favorite pictures of him. I know that, I think it was Time Magazine did it. I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that one. But anyway, so, it was really cute because Joe Biden, who is our vice president, Mm -hmm. um, he posted a picture on Twitter to um president obama and the picture was of a friendship bracelet that vice president joe gave to president obama and i just thought it was so cute because i'm not quite sure if he made it or not i, I wouldn't be surprised he's crafty he might be crafty you never Is know he? oh i don't know and so I'm not, it's not that he's not crafty it's just those things are a, such a like i don't have the patience to even put like four beads together. yeah it's so yeah it was like little beads and it said joe and then 
other beads said Brock. So it was just like a friendship bracelet. I don't know. I didn't when see. When you say this, I picture him handing it to him with like a like a cheesy blank, like Spongebob-y smile. Like, like yeah, like, you know, happy birthday, friend. Like a grin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was really cute that they did that. Um, it seems, we were talking about it in the office. Some people were saying in the office yesterday that um, they feel like Brock and Joe are not friends. But then I was like, I feel like they're friends. You know, like I'm sure that they. I mean, have he's his vice president. He, he yeah, you know. and they've you know, and I'm sure like with all friendships, there's times when like you can't stand one another, but then at the end of the day, we're friends. So and it you know it blows over. So, but I just thought that that was really cute that for his birthday he gave him a friendship bracelet, and then um, <laughs> I did, I thought it was so cute. I don't know. I don't. I didn't see any pictures of president obama actually wearing it so maybe that'll surface out soon just for fun i'm sure he'll wear it just because it's just out for that there picture yeah. and then take it right off hey well maybe not take it right off but I'm, I'm sure he'll wear it now i know i think it's cute i think i feel like president obama is a kind of guy that would wear a friendship bracelet yeah he'll, he'll be nice like and- yeah <laughs> it's a present why wouldn't you wear it so there's that and then um there's also well the obamas actually have been like around Twitter a lot this past week. Mm-hmm. Um, Sasha Obama recently got a job at Martha's Vineyard. Mm-hmm. So she's working at uh, um, like one of the seafood restaurants on Martha's Vineyard. And it's kind of funny because she has six bodyguards that go to work with her. So because, you know, she's still the president's daughter. So yeah. she has her summer, her summer job, but then they're also there. Well, am I wrong in thinking that even after he's out of office, like they're still going to be. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they still. I think that they do have some type of security still. Um, and I'm sure, especially for the Obama family, there's going to be. Um, something in place for them once they're out of office as well so but i just thought it would be kind of funny to go to the restaurant and just see how the security is placed how old is she um she's young she's i believe maybe 16 i think she's 16 i like that like i like that she's working see what i mean how they're 15 16 there are like celebrities who deserve their fame like and then mm-hmm. some who ruin it like that's i like that yeah so she know? has her little summer job which right. is fun she works like um pictures were over twitter of her like working the cash register she has like her little hat on it's so cute she's really cute and then um i wonder if other people hate it because i'm like yeah i put my hat on and nobody thinks it's cute oh i don't you know <laughs> i just think it's funny because it's kind of ugly cute like because like the hat has like a fish on it and like her shirt has a fish on like that's her uniform so like you can't really change that part but so it's kind of like ugly cute because it's like she has like a fish on there but and then and also before we wrap it up malia obama was also all over twitter because she was dancing she was also working except she's a and music and- festival and she has like a picture with like bryson tiller and all of that and people were like freaking out because she was having a good time and like my thing is with that whole thing like i get it the girls have been in not they haven't been in office but they've been in the white house for the last eight years Mm -hmm. and we haven't known anything about them honestly well she twerked for like two seconds i mean and she's with her girlfriends like she's surrounded by a bunch of girls and like my thing is too is like i i don't know why people she's 17 and she's going to harvard she's enjoying her time right now they don't do anything inappropriate or wrong we never hear about them ever yes they do they twerk on they on like Kenny. you know what I mean? yeah, yeah i'm like so she's dancing to a song like get over it but people yeah, but you know people are yeah people I'm leave like, people with 163 dollars bills too, yeah you know <laughs> so she i hope she had a good time i'm sure they probably weren't prepared for those kind of optics at this time but i mean at the same time what are we expecting her to do? It's like um, she, I feel like if she had to make one of those like spotlight mistakes, this was a good one to make. Yeah, because it wasn't that big. Of, of it a wasn't deal. that big of a deal. She's just with her girlfriends, and it's not like she's the only one acting up, and nobody else is doing anything. Like they're at like a conference or something. Right. Everybody's dancing. Keep her away from Sarah Snow. Everybody, <laughs> wow, everybody's what? having a good time. So you know, I think it's been a really good solid week for the Obamas and Twitter. This, good this week they just had you know i feel like fun. since the since the you know the the whole presidential thing is winding down like they should have a little fun and kind of relax exactly it's the last few months why not just yeah. enjoy Coast it. it you know yeah ex- exactly exactly and i think people barack should twerk that'd be hilarious <laughs> that'd be a, and he's such he's been such a good sport like, right. like this whole time that i feel like he would do it to be yeah funny. why not so that's that is that uh,
that's it for us today. Yep. That is it for us today. So you've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts social media podcast. You can listen to us on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher. You can find us at gsmcpodcast.com. You can listen to this episode all over again, or you can listen to any of our previous episodes as well. And we will talk to you guys next week. See you next week. Bye.